Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Teddy here and welcome back to my weekly b-boy tutorial and today I'll be teaching you guys the most requested tutorial that you guys have been asking for which is the F1 S10 Freeze but before I start, make sure you hit the subscribe button also turn on the notification icon so whenever there's a new video coming out from this channel you will get notified alright, so without any further ado let's jump to the tutorial now step number one, I want you to have the very very good solid headstand freeze If you're still having a headstand that wobbling to the left or to the right Then I would suggest you to master the headstand freeze first Because if you can't do a good headstand, then you'll be having a lot of trouble learning this move Alright, so I assume all of you guys that are watching this video right now already have a good headstand freeze Now I'm going to start doing the headstand I want you to use one of your hands if you are right handed like me you want to use your right hand to hold your headstand freeze without using your left hand and vice versa if you are left handed then you just put left hand on the ground and bring your right hand up headstand and now I'm gonna bring up my left hand So like what you see just now, I want you to hold your headstand with just using one hand and the reason for that is because your other hand is going to grab your foot and then doing a thread. So it's good exercise to learn this first, hold yourself up with one hand and then get the balance out of that from there. But it doesn't have to be a very very good solid uh, one hand headstand freeze, okay? It's just that you can hold that for a few seconds, that would be good enough. Like what you see just now, I want you to hold your headstand freeze with just one hand. And the reason is that because for my cast, my left hand is going to grab my left foot and I'm going to do the grab with my right foot. So I'm only using my right hand to hold that up. Again, if you're left-handed, then you want to make sure that your right hand is up here and your left hand is on the ground. Here's a tip. If you are using your right hand, then make sure your body weight leaning more to the right side because remember I'm using my right hand then uh, my right hand is gonna help me to control the body weight they're leaning towards the right side if I lean in to the left side then there's a, be a big problem and eventually I will crash because again there are nothing to hold nothing to control because my left hand is not on the ground now let's try to do the one hand headstand and now this time I'm gonna grab my left foot with my left hand again lean to the right side and if you're not comfortable with the movement just keep repeating doing that and now the last part is do the thread all right make sure that my right leg is inserted into the space here where my left hand and my left foot is created all right so very simple stuff just make sure right leg is getting into the special because we're gonna do a thread again this move is just exactly like you do a normal footwork thread uh, as long as you keep practicing you can do thread without even thinking about it like when doing a footwork you can see when I do a thread I can go to thread from anywhere I want and my thread is not gonna be floppy because again it takes time to practice it all right so Again, take your time, don't rush, just make sure you get comfortable with the movement, with the freeze, and then you'll be good. Now if you already can control the headstand thread, now it's time to put it in your set. So that's about it. Subscribe if you subscribe, like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Alright, so that's about it. I will see you guys next time.